Hi there, lovely, and welcome to Let's Chat. I'm Rhonda Crimes, and I'm a certified life and leadership coach and trainer for everyday women just like you who are tired of being people pleasing good girls or who I prefer to call super givers. I'm here to do all I can to guide and support these beautiful super givers in my community to be able to use their voice, make their stand and live their life their way. If that sounds like something you'd like to know more about, keep listening and don't be shy to reach out and take advantage of my offers and invitations for one-to-one -one and group coaching, training and mentoring opportunities, where together we'll curiously explore what is most important for you to stand for, to compassionately encourage you to speak your truth and to courageously live your life aligned to your heart's desire with confidence and without guilt. In this episode, let's chat about celebrating all the wins along the way. Here we are at the end of December 2022, and I know for me and quite a number of my friends and family, it's been another big year, hasn't it? Definitely not all bad, though, when I took the time to reflect. There still have been some great wins along the way. Some were massive and some were small, but either way, I've tried to take the time to really celebrate them all in the moment. Let me share a sprinkling of mine with you so you get the picture. I was privileged to coach some incredible women from all walks of life in Australia, Europe and the UK. I was able to keep in close touch with my sister nearly every week, despite the 600 kilometres between us. Technology continues to provide us some fab wins. I successfully launched my Truly Deeply You program and have now finally finished creating all of it. I just popped a champagne cork and have been breathing so much easier since then. I am truly grateful to the founding members for their patience and unconditional acceptance of all my stalls, stops and restarts. I attended a number of varied online trainings that have further developed both my business and what I'm able to offer my community. Watch this space for updates. I saw my kids in Perth as often as I could throughout the year, culminating in a week in Gilderton where the Kalgoorlie and the Perth sides of our little family came together just before Christmas. I spent five or six amazing weekends with my dear scrapbooking buddies and we, <laughs> we laughed till we cried every time. I was the senior flower girl for my niece's much-anticipated wedding, wrangling two toddlers down the grassy aisle and bearing witness to the celebration of their love. I also had the pleasure of making their wedding cake. Oh, it looked and tasted amazing, even if I do say so myself. But then so did the 100 guests as well. I also had the delight of attending another niece's wedding, which was filled with love and only required I commit to lots of dancing. I was invited to crew for an online training that was spread over three weeks, entailing two to three night shifts each week. I was given complete control of rostering breakout rooms, collating the assessor's data for over 40 delegates from all over Europe, UK, Australia and New Zealand in 23 tasks. It was a huge success and a huge win. And then there were also more regular smaller wins, like getting my hair and nails done regularly. Having coffee dates with friends. Staying on track with my son's 30th birthday album. Eating healthily. Sleeping well. Napping often. Reading and listening to tons of fiction novels and podcasts. Of course, there were also more random wins like 
following my interests down Google and YouTube rabbit holes and installing the flash new window blinds in my Dutchie Den craft hut. No blazing hot summer fading everything anymore. <laughs> so I hope you notice that when I count my wins, it isn't about mechanically ticking off my SMART goals because <laughs> if you know me well enough, you know I steer well clear of those. My wins are not tied to arbitrary numbers or dates. They are linked to how I want to be living my life and if I feel like I'm moving towards that. You know, I've been doing this reflection practice for a number of years now and it always lightens and brightens my mood when I recall just how many wins I've had along the way. It really helps me to relive the actual moments and then set the intention to make room for repeats. I also make sure I'm not just laser focusing in on one or two areas. I cover off everything under the life category pillars of love, vitality, vocation and wealth. This doesn't just happen by accident. I prioritise and plan for this reflection time because I know just how important it is to give balance and gain perspective when we look back to learn. It also takes a degree of dedication and sometimes for super givers, that can be tricky to prioritise because someone else is usually jumping the queue for our attention, especially when the attention is only required for something about us. I get it. But that doesn't mean it can't happen. Let me play to your strengths as a super giver and help you to do it for the other people in your life. When you are coming from your servant heart, you are a much nicer person to be around than when you're coming from that resentful place of servitude to do what everyone else expects. But if you don't remember what lights you up, what makes you proud, what fills your love cup, then it's hard to make those wins happen again. So I'm hosting some dedicated reflection time for my Super Giver community again in January, once we've said our final goodbye to 2022. And I want to invite you to join me in my annual five-day challenge, 2022, Looking Back to Learn. This yearly review is designed to guide you to look back over the past year and to assist you to move forward into the new year with increased clarity. To really seek out and celebrate all the wins along the way, big and small, planned and random. We'll also identify the things that were stickier and then decide if they need tweaking for improvement or releasing completely. Each of us is impacted differently by the year gone by and that in turn influences what comes next, depending on our personalities, tendencies, beliefs, resilience thresholds, locations, health status, networks and life experiences. But one thing we all have in common is that each of us have come through with so many learning opportunities if we can only take the time to curiously explore them. When you join, you'll receive the revamped printable workbook. It's been given a total makeover and a couple of new bits added. The five-day challenge training will be hosted in a private pop-up Facebook group with all the links and the info that you need to delivered directly to your own inbox. Then the trainings will be permanently housed inside my website so you can still easily download and listen to them at your leisure when the pop-up group is archived. When you complete the workshop, you will come out with 2022 in a much better perspective rather than the more emotionally charged version so many people are choosing. You will have identified what was great and how that made you feel. 
explore the moments and experience of joy, hope, and gratitude. You'll also take a look at what wasn't so great or didn't go so well to help you find insights or what you have learned that you can take away or use and leverage moving forward into 2023. Take a moment now to think how you'd like to describe 2023 in December next year. I'd love you to share with me in the comments if you'd like to. Now, I'm a straight shooter, and to make that 2023 vision come to life, you are going to have to do a little bit of lifting and shifting. Join me in the free five-day challenge so you can reveal what you need to be prepared to tweak or change to make that a possibility. What you need to discover that you are ready to let go of. Perhaps it's a stowaway behavioural pattern or maybe an autopilot reaction that you've carried around for so long now, you're not even conscious to it. What things you need to identify that are holding you back or keeping you stuck from living the life you do want to live. And these may not be the things that are copying the blame right now. If that sounds like something you resonate with a yes to, then allow me to guide you to look forward with the benefit of 2020 hindsight to uncover and then take a peek at what your future is holding for you. If you are prepared to really curiously explore from the place of the neutral observer, you will come out of this workshop with, with, your, with your own vision, purpose and clarity strengthened. Now, I'm only offering this free challenge in January, so be sure to get on board as soon as possible while everything is fresh in your mind. I've included the link to my annual free five-day challenge, 2022 Looking Back to Learn, in the notes, comments, or my bio, depending where you're watching or listening. I truly hope that you take up my invitation. Until we consciously know what is important to and for us, we can't be completely sure we are moving forward in the right direction for us. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Chat about celebrating all the wins along the way. And I would be thrilled if you let me help you do that for yourself in the five-day challenge. Thanks for being here right to the very end of the episode. I hope there were just enough ahas or oh no's to be of value for you. I truly enjoyed chatting with you. And if you did too, can I ask that you share it with friends who would benefit or be interested as well? Also, for more brownie points, could I ask you to leave a comment, either reviewing it, asking for more info, or letting me know you've got other questions or topics you'd like me to cover off? Much love. Till next time.